Good afternoon, everybody. Um, this is Pacific Island Playlist number four, and I'm sitting here beside Alex Presler. She is the co-coordinator of Smack Junior. Alex, that was a super high piece of music, a super high energy piece of music. Can you tell me a little bit about that? Yeah, that's Hot for Teacher by Van Halen. Um, my horse actually had a colt shortly after I was um, given a position as nursing faculty at UND, and my stepdad thought that it would be funny to name the colt Hot for Teacher. So it's kind of a funny story, but it's a Really good song, high energy, and I love it. Now, Alex, back in Dublin in 2016, you were the sole nursing co um, representative on the Smack Junior faculty. Now you're the co-coordinator. Can you tell me about this jump, how it's happened for you? Yeah, absolutely. It's kind of unbelievable that a nursing student from North Dakota is here coordinating these students. Um, I remember walking into the conference center in Dublin and feeling sort of like an imposter or poser. I was the only nurse on the team. I wasn't studying medicine or paramedicine, and so I sort of didn't know what to do with all the information that was being given to me until I had a really powerful conversation with Tim Lewenberg about the flattened hierarchy, and it really motivated me. And um, now here I am today coordinating all the students. And there's Smack Junior members, they're from all over the world, they're from Australia, they're from Europe, they're from North America. You must have forged some pretty special relationships down through the years. Yeah, it's kind of amazing. That's what's really special about FOMED is that it extends to almost every continent. Um, and so does my friendship circle. I even did a little bit of traveling with a nurse from Berlin before the conference and I just think that's so amazing how we're connected. Alex, I kind of feel like FOMED's been off the menu in the last couple of years. If you look at Twitter three years ago, everybody was talking about it. I think there's people in this audience, this might be their first smack, and have you any advice for them how they should use FOMED? Um, just talk to everybody. Talk to as many people as you, or as little people as you want to. Um, branch out. Everybody here wants to make the community bigger, and we're so welcoming. Um, so just having conversations with anybody and everybody is my best advice. Alex, you work as a nurse in the emergency department. How do you make FOMED work for you in the ER? Um, yeah, it's different for nurses because we're not the ones writing the orders, but um, we can be an active part of the team by educating ourselves and taking FOMED to the bedside with us. Um, I create conversations with the MDs and just try to be as active as possible. And do you remember a particular turning point when you knew that this all makes sense for you? Yeah. We had a uh, tricky intubation one night, and the MD that was doing the intubation was having a hard time managing the tongue. So I kind of talked him through the salad technique, which was taught to me by Jim DeCanto. And it was that moment that I really knew FOMED was going to be important in my practice as a nurse. Now, Alex, I've heard that your students, they call you Professor Nurse Alex. Can you tell me a little bit about this? <laughs> Yeah, um, one of the students was trying to get my attention one day, saying my name, and I turned to them and said, actually, it's Professor Nurse Alex. Um, I've been posting a few of the notes that I use in class on Twitter, and that hashtag has slipped in, and I've gotten a lot of great comments on it. People find it kind of funny. That's super, Alex. You have another 10, 15 seconds. Do you have a key message for this audience to take home before they go away this evening? I absolutely do. Um, nurses need FOMED too. That's really important. Is We can utilize FOMED even though we're not the ones writing the orders. So educating yourselves, having conversations, and just getting out there. We have time for one last piece of music. Can you tell me a little bit about it before we play it out? Yeah, it's uh, Led Zeppelin, rock and roll. It makes me think of Coriam, which was one of the first podcasts that I found really digestible as um, a nursing student, and so it really gets me pumped up. And we have all my spec junior students around me to help us party our way out of here. Oh, fantastic. <laughs> Take it away. <laughs> 